Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently Boeing has completed the delivery of 158th Poseidon Maritime Patrol Aircraft MPA. Now as you all know that India is also operating a fleet of 12 Poseidon and is second largest operator of this MPA. Navy has spent 3.1 billion dollars for the acquisition of these 12 aircrafts. Recently, the plan to purchase six additional PTIs were halted by Ministry of Defense to promote the indigenous platform. As per the latest report from Business Standard, the US officials are optimistic that India will eventually buy 25 to 35 Poseidons. Given the growing need for maritime domain awareness over the Indian Ocean where Indian Navy plays role of regional gatekeeper. This task was earlier performed by Indian Navy's Tupulev 142 Bear long-range maritime patrol aircraft that were bought from Soviet Union in 1988. The fleet was retired back in 2017. To augment the surveillance and reconnaissance capability provided by 12 PTIs, the Navy is also proceeding with acquiring 8 new medium-range maritime reconnaissance MRMR aircraft and a fleet of Sea Guardian unmanned aerial vehicles. At present, India does not have aircraft integrated with sensors and avionics similar in capability to PTI MPs. The additional order of six peer ties which was put on hold is really concerning keeping in the mind the growth of Chinese submarine warships, its presence in Indian Ocean. China is also supplying Pakistan with its latest submarines and warship, so eventually Pakistan is becoming proxy of Chinese Navy. The peer tie MPS squadron is based in INS Rajali in Arakunam near Chennai. It keeps an eye over the Indian Ocean to seek out pirates, suspicious cargo vessels, hostile warships and submarines. The enhanced internal fuel tank allows the MPA to fly over 1,100 km, patrol the area for 6 hours and then fly back 1,100 km to the base which is Arakonam. The range can be doubled with the help of aerial refueling. The PTI features advanced sensors and weapons. It features a multi-mode radar that picks up aircraft, surface, ships and submarines. It has a belly-mounted radar which looks backward like an electronic rear-view mirror. The aircraft can also drop sonar boys on suspected enemy submarines, redoing back any suspicious sounds that they pick up to zero down on the submarine. The submarines can also be picked up by a magnetic anomaly detector MAD integrated on the tail of PTI. The aircraft has 11 hard points, two under each wing for Mark 82 depth charges or Harpoon anti-ship missiles, five stations inside the weapons bay for Mark 54 torpedoes and two hard points up front for combat search and rescue equipment or for additional depth bombs. The PTI also communicates with the Indian submarine with the help of data link which can pass on the location of enemy submarine. The Indian submarines can then zero in on the intruder and fire torpedoes to destroy it. While PTIs are indeed a very potential platform which has multiplied the Indian Navy's capability, the halt of six additional PTI order has raised concern. However, the bigger question is what is the alternative for PTIs for Indian Navy? The probable answer is DRDOs. MMA, Triple MA, Multi Mission Maritime Aircraft, which is already under development. Most of the sensors, electronics, and avionics to be used as part of Triple MA program has already been developed by DRDO and are at various stages of integration and testing. 70% of sensors to be used in Triple MA is derived from Netra, A, W, and C. The platform chosen for Triple MA is Airbus C295 aircraft which is not as powerful as Boeing modified 737 but still decent enough for this role. This is why it is almost one-fourth of the cost of Boeing's PTIs which means India can literally build 24 triple MA at the cost of 6 PTIs. The Center for Airborne System CAPS Bengaluru has prepared a blueprint to modify 6 of the 56 C295 military transport aircraft procured by Indian government from Spain for maritime usage by Indian Coast Guard. However, it will still take at least four to five years for DRDO to develop a platform similar to PTIs. The Indian Navy's plan to acquire eight of these aircraft is definitely a welcome move, not only to boost its maritime capabilities, 
but also develop the indigenous ecosystem for these kind of maritime technologies which is the need of R. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.